Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I am going to be tackling another area of our home to organize. So if you saw my last pantry organization video, I'll put the bar up here somewhere. Um, you'll know that I'm starting kind of like an organization, clean out, declutter situation on this channel. And so I started with the pantry because it was the one thing that was driving me the most crazy. And then I'm gonna go on to the second thing that is driving me the most crazy and it is my girl's closet. If you've been following along for a little while on this channel, you will know that a few months back, we put both of our girls in the same room, which ended up being a really great idea since baby number three is coming. Kenzie's in the bath screaming. <laughs> she's fine, I promise she's fine. Um, because we were gonna have to use our third bedroom for nursery. So, ended up being a really great idea. But, we have a really small closet. They're not, they're not super tiny. Um, I just need to find a better way to organize it to fit all of their stuff. So, today, I'm gonna take you into their closet, which right now is a hot mess, and organize it with me. Like I said too in that pantry video, I'm trying really hard not to buy anything. So as much as I would like to buy um, storage solutions for their closet, um, at this point in time, it's just not gonna happen. And so you will see me using a small little bookshelf that, gosh, I think I had before Michael and I got married, which has been almost nine years now. So it is falling apart. The back is completely split in two, but we're gonna use it. We're gonna make it work. Um, to give them a little bit more storage in this closet. So, without further ado, let's get started. So before I start any sort of cleaning or organizing, I have got to make the girls beds. I don't know about you guys, but the room could be a disaster, but if the bed's made, I feel okay about it. It's that way in our master bedroom too. I always make sure to try and make the bed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out all of the clothes from the closet. I'm not gonna pull out the stuff on the bottom or the stuff on the top because I don't have anywhere to put it. So I'm gonna start with the clothes. I'm gonna pull out all the clothes and then I'm gonna pull out this hanging organizer thing. I'm gonna get rid of that actually so that I have more room for their clothes. And honestly, it is just an excuse for me to hold junk in there. So what I'm doing right now is I have put <laughs> I've put Kenzie's clothes on her bed and Brooklyn's clothes on her bed. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to take out all of clothes all of the clothes that don't fit either one of them anymore or I know Kenzie probably won't get much wear out of once Brooklyn outgrows them. I'm going to take clothes out that have a sticker residue on them that I can't get off and I'm going to separate those. There's some things that I'm going to sell some things that just need to go in the trash, to be honest. And then I'm gonna put all the clothes back in the closet. Thank you. 
So y'all let me know in the comments below if you have kids that share a closet, how you find best to organize it. So I, for now, I have Brooklyn's clothes on the right and Kenzie's clothes on the left. And I try to somewhat color code them. I mainly try to section them from tank tops all the way up to sweaters that way. Cause normally when I go into a closet, it's the same in my master. I go in saying, I need a long sleeve shirt. I don't necessarily go in saying I need a pink shirt. So that's kind of how I organize it. Still try to keep it somewhat color coded. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you organize your shared kids closets. Christmas break we actually potty trained Kenzie <laughs> thank goodness another one out of diapers before we get another one in diapers but I'm just separating their undies Brooklyn has a basket Kenzie has a basket and they share a basket of socks because they pretty much can wear the same size socks and so I'm gonna separate those out and then go through their shoes and other stuff in the bottom of their closet Now for Christmas, if you saw what I got my kids for Christmas, you will know Brooklyn got a ton of these small little surprise packets, LOL dolls, all kind of really tiny little things. So I took one of these clear storage containers that I already had, that I had their bows in, and I'm throwing them all in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and sticking those on the top of her shelf. And then I'm gonna go through this bag in our closet. Now this bag in our closet holds all my girls' summer clothes, like their shorts, random tutus. And so it's got also got, okay, just a minute. Have y'all ever tried to do a voiceover with toddlers? And then it's got their bathing suits in it as well. And their room is super small. We don't have room for a full size dresser. So we have a small little three drawer dresser. So all we really have room for is what is in season. So I keep their out of season clothes in this bag and I will tuck it in the side of the closet. So the top of my girl's closet stays pretty organized. It's mainly stuff they just don't touch. In one bin they have 
or we have some of their dress up clothes. And then in another bin, we have some of their mem memorabilia stuff. <laughs> Did I say that right? Stuff that they just don't touch. And then in another bin, there are shoes that are too big for Brooklyn, or too small for Brooklyn, but too big for McKinsey. So they're shoes that I will just pull down as Kinsey can wear them. And that is gonna be it for today's cleaning and organizing video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more cleaning and organizing videos. And we will see you guys next time, bye. Right.